Well, everything we do at Rosie Lane Holsteins is cow-centric. Every um, decision we make is based on taking good care of that animal from day one. I'm Daphne Holterman, and I farm with my husband Lloyd and our young partner Tim Strobel here at Rosie Lane Holsteins, just south of Watertown, Wisconsin. Cheese in Wisconsin is king, of course, and so I believe it's 80 or 90 percent of the milk in our state goes to make cheese. On our farm, we have about 870 cows and we grow corn and alfalfa on about 1,200 acres. And alfalfa is something that humans can't use in their stomachs because we're a single stomach, but cows happen to have four parts to their stomach. So it's rumination that allows them to use the alfalfa plant. Putting all our crops together and, and feeding an entire herd of cows in the most efficient manner and, and trying to meet all the nutritional needs of the animals, it's always a challenge. It's like putting a puzzle together. These are milk tankers being filled with milk from the cows in the milking parlor. And this is really the hub of our, our farm. Well, in 1996, Lloyd and I spent 11 months building this setup here. It's a, it was a double eight milking parlor. We since expanded it to a double 12. It's really an art to milking a cow properly. The cow comes into the milking parlor, gets recorded, and all the data gets downloaded to this computer. The yellow line is their milking speed. And you can see that also has some variation to it depending on how, how nervous she is or how much, how fast she lets her milk down. Before we had these computers, we had to handwrite these things and you had to be very, very organized. It would be, it would take one or two full-time guys just to do the paperwork and the predicting in a herd like this. This is how long it took her to milk, 4.3 minutes and here's the average. What that gives us the ability to do is to sort our cows by milking speed because they're milk, getting milk 12 on a side, they come in, we put 12 units on, they cannot leave the milking parlor until all 12 cows are done. Lloyd and I both grew up on family farms and I grew up on a beef and hog farm and I met Lloyd at college and we were married about 30 years ago and that's when I started farming. When I come out here, um, one of the things I'm, I pay a lot of attention to is how are the, the, how the cows handled on a daily basis? Are they fed proper amounts of food in a timely fashion? Are they, are they clean? Um, these cows here in this dairy are, are housed in a freestall barn that are bedded with sand. And I, I want to make sure that, that sand is to the right level of depth so that it's comfortable for the cow and also clean. When a cow gets sick, it's the humane thing to do. It's just like when people get sick. They need antibiotics to get better. We have a system in place to guarantee nationally, actually, that no antibiotics get in food. When each load of milk goes out of here and, and goes up the road on a semi-trailer, before that milk is unloaded, it's agitated and a sample is drawn out and they, they test the milk. If the load of milk has, has any antibiotics in at all, the load of milk gets dumped. And right now, a load of milk is worth $11,000. So we don't want them to get sick in the first place. So prevention, vaccination, all those things are critically important. Well, our daughter Lauren is majoring in food science at UW-Madison here in our state. And she's very in tune with caring for cows and showing people how we do that every day. A common misconception of a lot of people is that there's nothing really in agriculture, you know, there's no future, there's no money, there's no place for young people. But growing up in the industry, I really have seen a different side of that, and that is that there's endless potential for anyone who's involved in agriculture, whether it be farming as my parents have done, or working, you know, in marketing or communication, some field, you know, extended um, from agriculture. Um, seeing what I can do with this industry and seeing what I can make of myself, where I can go with what I've already learned from all the things that I've done. I think we all care about where our food comes from. And some people just have lost that connection a little bit, but anything we can do as a farm and as the next generation coming up to connect consumers to those animals, to the land, to see the people that produce that food. 
We're committed to doing that, to taking care of the animals. And the people that work with us here love taking care of animals. They love doing what it takes to get the job done every day. We've been masters at production, producing more for less. That's what farmers do very, very well.